What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody prevailing? And today my people, welcome back to another video and my people, I'm so excited to show you this video right now. Listen, I can't believe that I really found this three point shooting modern day Dennis Rodman build. This is a build, if Dennis Rodman was in this era of basketball, and he developed a three-point shot, and he was glass cleaning the way that he did. This build is ridiculous, my people, okay? But before we get into this video, look at this, right? So, so many people watch my videos that have not yet subscribed. All I'm asking is that you subscribe to the channel, show some love, my people. I'm dropping bangers non-stop, all right? So look, you already know first and last name. Power forward, right hand, 91, of course, this is Rodman. My people, you wanna go 6'7", who's 60 and 7'4", and go compact. Look at the attributes, my people. Let's let's talk about this for a second, okay? Y'all wanted a Dennis Rodman build that can shoot? Look at the attributes, my people. Look at it. So, first off, right, the 86 close shot, you're gonna be able to finish under the rim. Okay, close shot type range any type of close shot animation you're going to get this is literally for like this 70 driving dunk is all you need when it comes to you know fast breaks the backdoor cuts this is all you need my people this is going to be solid all right then you got that 90 standing dunk my people this is the same standing dunk attribute that we had on the dennis rodman i showed y'all before got 90 again to finish around a basket you're gonna be able to basically bully and play uh mash down there so if you want to mash you're gonna be able to do that then look at the shooting 70 mid-range is if you're in a situation where you need to shoot the mid-range but most likely won't need to shoot the mid-range at all. You don't need it. Now the three-point shot, an 85 three-point shot, my people. Look at this. A Dennis Rodman build with an 85 three-ball is ridiculous, my people. You could put this build in a five out and go crazy. Trust me, this build is lethal. Lethal, my people, all right? So this is just incredible. Look at this. You could do dead eye, limitless range, get catch and shoot as a tier two. Like the the, the badges that you're gonna be able to use is endless, my people. It's it's just crazy, right? And then you got that 80 free throw. I said 70 is the sweet spot, but for me, I wanted to get an 80 because I play a lot of rec. So this is this is solid. I'm never missing. And the free throw animation I always tell people to use. I always tell my friends on. On, on PSN, use Brianna Stewart free throw. You're never gonna miss free throws. That's one of the best. I've been using that since I think NBA 2K21 or NBA 2K22, but Brianna Stewart, my favorite animation free throw. That's all I use. 80 pass accuracy, my people, okay? The 80 pass accuracy is going to be phenomenal. You are gonna be dotting. Equip the LeBron James passing style and you're good to go, I'm telling you. This build is nasty. I gotta go back and tell you about this. So I only put the 45 post control just so we can get the um, vice grip on bronze. I don't feel like you need it high, but I feel like at least having it on bronze, to me, I remember how glue hands was. If you didn't have glue hands, at least on bronze, you was catching the weirdest stuff. But as you can see, right? Vice grip increases a player's ability to secure the ball against steal attempts after obtaining possession from a rebound catch or loose board. Having it on bronze is all you need. My people, now this is this is where it gets really Rodman-like, okay? 79 interior defense. That's all you need. That's that's a crazy amount of interior defense to have. The perimeter defense is a 78, which also gives you a 78 lateral quickness. You're not gonna really be guarding ball like that so you could deal with this at a 78 then you got that 60 still i i went 60 to at least get these so you get the clams on bronze and tim i mean interceptor and challenger and then that 87 block is going to be incredible anchor on silver is amazing to have the block oh yeah 
chased on on gold. That's gonna be really, really amazing to have as well. I'm cool with that. Cookies! <laughs> oh, ew! <laughs> that 99 offensive rebound, that's Rodman. If you saw my videos with Dennis Rodman with my other build, with that 99 offensive rebound, that is cheese. I'm snagging over seven footers, seven foot three centers. That is <laughs> fucking ass. Good finish. Yes, sir. It is ridiculous. This 99 offensive rebound is crazy. It's ridiculous, my people, right? So then you get that 96 defensive rebound. Here's the thing. I, I realized that you don't need a 99 defensive rebound. You know why? Because you got this beautiful badge right here. That's a tier two. You're set. You don't need to worry about none of that. And that's the thing that I like about making this power forward build is that a lot of these badges that you're gonna need they're in tier one and tier two. These ones you probably don't really need, but if you want to use them, it's cool. But look at this, this is amazing. 70 speed and a 70 acceleration. You're not gonna really be in a lot of situations where you need to try to get like a speed burst or if you have the rock and you're trying to literally run past your defender, like you're not gonna really be in situations like that because you got a three ball, so you could just fob out it. If you have the wide open dunk, then you could accelerate and use your 70 speed. The 70 speed is solid. Apparently, speed doesn't really matter. It's all about speed with the ball and acceleration. Don't worry about not having um, speed with the ball. You're not gonna be dribbling like that. This is not a dribbling build. This is a Rodman three-point shooting type of build. You know what I'm saying? That 86 strength, solid. Most most people that you go against gonna probably have 90 to 95, but that's all right. You can still do damage. If you get the animations, you're perfectly fine. I promise you that. Like. I get the worm, like even though I have a 90 strength with my other Rodman, I know how to use the worm animation and I use box out wall, so it's like, it's all good. A 86 is solid, you still get the silver bully if you're interested. 88 vert, I have a 90 on my other Rodman, but I realize it don't really matter having it so high. That 88 vert is what Rodman had in NBA 2K23, so that's solid. And then you get that 90 stamina. My people, this this build is golden. I went with this. See the future and limitless range. If you don't think that you're gonna be shooting like that, which I don't see why you wouldn't think that you're gonna be shooting like that, you can go box out war. If you're not confident in that 86 strength, you can go box out war. Box out war is, is, is solid. I love using this. You get all the animations, swim around, uh, block out stronger plays. That's also good. You could do box out or, or limitless range, or you could even go paint intimidation. But because I know that you could shoot, that's cheese. Rodman with limitless range, come on. Still get comparisons to Rodman, which is amazing. And you get a two way stretch glass cleaner. Come on, my people, that's fire. You get 12 finishing, right? But the way that I like to play, instantly I would call the uh, fast twitch and then I would go silver aerial wizards. Like, I haven't really caught lobs like that or I haven't really got the pullbacks like that. I would do bronze fearless and I would put the masher on gold. This is all I would use, right? Or I could drop this down, put this on bronze and probably get rise up on silver. So I would be all right with this because the way that I poop is like, I want to just get the ball go right up like i'm not trying to do too much crazy stuff like i'm not trying to do drop steps i'm not trying to do any limitless takeoff type stuff i don't care but i would definitely put the fast twitch on um as, as a core shooting I have 18 shooting off rip you want catch and shoot that's one of them silver green machine is solid play more i would put that as three i could get one of these as a core i would definitely call my limitless range that's how I hoop. So you gotta pick your badges based off how you like to hoop. How I like to hoop is different from a lot of other people. I'm not doing no agent threes. I'm not doing blinders type shot. Can also get this as a core. 
To be honest with you, I would probably go dead eye silver. And this is what I would want. Catch and shoot, clean more, green machine. Like I'm not using MIDI magician because I'm not taking pull-ups or spin jumpers. You gotta choose the badges based off how you like to hoop. I'm not doing all of these extra stuff. I'm just hitting wide open shots. I'm hitting high quality shots. You know what I'm saying? That that's just how I hoop. Playmaking, of course, you gotta call that on gold. Definitely gotta get that uh that vice grip, you you can get bailout if you're in the bailout. I think bailout might be cool if you're into that. And then I would go needle threader. I like to pass. That 80 pass accuracy is gonna be monstrous. So I have to make sure that I got needle threader on with the break starter. I'm gonna be throwing dots crazy. This is where it gets really amazing. So off rip, call that rebound chaser, okay? You're Dennis Rodden. You gotta go with that. Uh, box out beast hall of fame you have to go with that go gold on here i tried hall of fame post lock but i haven't really seen nothing if you want to go rodman i like to stick to the exact core of a player so that's just how i like to do things he got a lot of these so rodman got a lot of these ones i stopped using pogo i don't really like pogo of course you want to go gold brick wall or go menace here and then okay so I gotta drop one of these. Let me see something. Probably don't even need Hall of Fame War Cross, but I'll probably go gold here. And then you'll, you'll be able to at least get the chase down on bronze. I'm not worried too much about this at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really too worried about any of these. But this is solid. This is what I would want. This is the build. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Drop some comments, drop some likes, show some love. And until next time, much love.